What's going on guys? Uh, welcome to the Bike Nation channel. Uh, this is the Redlands Classic. Um, I believe it's uh, mainly a pro race. Uh, it's a stage race. Um, but they have an open crit on Sundays. Uh, on this Sunday, so uh, I was able to join it. Um, which is pretty cool. As you can tell by the course on the right hand side. Uh, it's kind of a weird shaped um, course. But uh, this 180 turn was uh, pretty sketchy. I saw a couple of races before my race and a couple guys slid out there so I wanted to take that turn um, somewhat at race pace to see uh, more or less kind of where I needed to adjust and stuff so I could take that uh, turn better um, and um, so yeah I, I thought I was coming into this race solo but I had another uh, teammate with me um, so my plan today was basically to uh, breakaway hunt I was just gonna be hunting for breakaways and uh, if not, uh, I was going to try to get away the last couple laps. Um, so I was trying not to do too much work. Um, and if I ever got stuck in the front like I am right now, um, uh, I would either like uh, kind of do a false pace or whatever. But um, yeah, this first lap, uh, the idea behind it was to see who would come out and uh, kind of chase me down and stuff. wanted to see who, uh, if there was any... Um, breakaway riders in the field that wanted to kind of get away so that was kind of what I was looking for on this first lap I wanted to see who came out um, I wanted to see if I could identify some of these guys um, early on um, so I start uh, I start rolling back so automatically these three guys in the front I already yeah I, I mean I could tell they wanted to get away and see if these three guys chased me back right away um, and you can tell like they're kind of pushing the pace a little bit um, so right here they're not getting away but I mean I'm, I'm like I said I'm, I'm breakaway hunting so I'm gonna stay near the front and I'm gonna try to make sure I monitor anything that tries to go or anything that looks like it's gonna go so um, that's what I did if you see if you notice this video um, I pretty much stay in the front like most of my videos but um, yeah, that was the idea behind it. I was not uh, saving my legs for a sprint. I was not saving my legs to lead out my teammates or anything like that in this race. I was gonna go all out in a breakaway um, with with other riders or by myself if need be. So that was the plan. Um, so uh, yeah, man. Uh, but unfortunately, as you saw at the beginning of the video, uh, that was me crashing. That was not someone else. That was me. Um, I, just, I have no idea what happened. Um, I lost my front wheel. Um, kind of go over the footage at the end uh, slow-mo I might have uh, hit my pedal on the floor um, I'm not sure I, d I don't remember hitting my pedal on the floor I just remember my front wheel kind of sliding out from under me and then I try to correct and it locked up on me so I went down uh, unfortunately um, but I'm okay I mean I broke another collarbone which sucks but uh, it is what it is got a really bruised you know left hip and back um, couldn't walk the first two days which is I think this is the second day uh, it's Tuesday right now so um, couldn't walk for a little, for for a while, at least not correctly. <laughs> I was limping with a crutch, um, but I'm okay. Um, it's part of bike racing. Um, but yeah, man, uh, these three guys in the front, man, you could tell they're they're pretty strong, and uh, and I'm I'm keeping an eye on them. Uh, but there's a couple people send attacks, um, and uh, you know. I wasn't too sure about them, so I kind of let them go and uh, and waited. I just wanted to make sure that they didn't get too far away, uh, and then I'd bridge over. But uh, I noticed that the field was chasing right away, so um, I tried not to do the chasing this time. I tried not to, you know, do too much work. Like I said, I wanted, if I was going to do work, I was going to do work in a breakaway or, uh, you know, by myself. So this guy kind of takes a little bit of a, a little dig right here. Um, he kind of starts opening up a gap. Um, I think I look back around here, uh, but the field's like right on us. So again, I'm not trying to go all out or do too much of an effort um, unless it's it's uh, something I believe it's gonna you know there's there's a chance that it's gonna stick. So um, that's my plan. Um, but yeah, this turn actually I thought it was gonna be a lot harder to take uh, when I first got into the race. It wasn't that hard actually. That was actually one of the easier uh, turns to get around. I mean, who knows how I was back in the field? I, I stayed away from the from the back. Um, I tried to stay in the front. I think I did stay in the front the whole time. Um, 
So who knows if it, it was hard to take in the back, but I, I stayed in the front the whole time. Uh, this part of the course was really fast, which I enjoyed a lot actually going through this side. Um, but so you can tell like we're going 30 miles an hour over here. And I think it's like a slight downhill. Um, and uh, honestly, the, I think the hardest part of the course was this uh, start stop or the start finish over here was uh, was probably the hardest part of the course. It's where I felt like my legs were kind of where I felt like I had to put down some power to get through this. And I think it's an uphill. But uh, this is probably the hardest part of the course, <laughs> getting through this part, which is the part where you got to sprint to at the end. But um, yeah, man, like I said, these guys are the strong guys up here. And you'll see in a minute, uh, you know, they, they start attacking uh, a couple guys. They start seeing little flyers. The guy in the front's tired. He's already like, man, eh, can't get away, making me pull. Uh, 406, I think, right here on the right. Uh, it's just sitting on. I can tell he's he's waiting, man. He's he's being patient. Uh, so I'm kind of trying to stick on his wheel. I got Jack on the inside from Bros Raid Bikes. Uh, you guys don't know them already. Um, the footage that you saw at the beginning was from them. Um, it was actually from uh, Jack's uh, rear cam. Uh, so thanks a lot for sending me that video, man. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, if you guys don't know them already, follow follow them, man, on 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 Instagram and on YouTube, man. Uh, these these kids, these their team actually is getting really strong this year, uh, especially, man. They're 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 making moves. They're doing some teamwork. They're doing some team tactics out there. I see them communicating sometimes, man. I hear them communicating sometimes. I'm like, what the heck, man? These guys are like 14 years old, but uh, but they're pretty strong. Um, so check them out, man. If you get a chance, check out their uh, Instagram and their. Um, and their YouTube channel, it's Bros Ride Bikes. So, uh, but yeah, there's another guy right here, right here in front of me, uh, that was it seemed to be pretty strong. Um, what is it, four, four, uh, 430? He seemed to be taking a, a, a lot of uh, pretty strong pulls. And so, there's another guy that I started marking after uh, a couple laps. I started noticing, you know, he had a he had a pretty good engine in there. So, <laughs> like I said, I, I I was that's all I was doing today. Uh, I was just hunting for like the the breakaway attempts and trying to stick so that's all i'm like thinking about this whole race is like who's gonna go who looks like they can you know stick in a break like that was the whole that's the whole thing i was thinking about the whole time so uh, i'm watching these guys and i think uh this guy in the green goes right now yeah he goes and i'm not too sure he does look pretty like uh strong his teammates right here in the front um he's, uh, He's like blocking. I mean, he's not blocking. There's just no one's going around him, and uh, so I'm, 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 you know, I'm checking out. I'm like, okay, we have to go around. If we don't come around him, come around his teammate by the, by the, the start finish, then you know, I'm gonna have to start pushing some, some pace a little bit. But uh, I think they come around him right here. Yeah, they come around his teammate, cause I mean, his teammate's not gonna chase him down. That's his teammate. I mean, they're wearing the same kit, uh, so the guys start chasing. I'm like, okay, perfect great i don't have to do that uh maybe they'll get me close enough so i could bridge uh if he stays away for a while um which i think another guy on the left i think uh, i think that's john actually i think i'm right with him on uh, thirsty thursdays uh, i think that's john i think he bridges over to him um but again i wasn't too sure about about that break i i wasn't uh really confident in that uh breakaway attempt so i stayed in the field and i let the field uh bring me back to them um, I didn't I didn't want to bring them back and it's really early in the race so uh, like I said I was I was gonna go with the people I wanted to go with if it was gonna go early and if it was people I didn't really uh, feel too comfortable with uh, I was gonna wait uh, so that's what I'm doing right here I think this is the furthest I go back I think a couple riders passing right here too I think this is the furthest I went back maybe like 11 12 spots back um, Yeah, let's see. Yeah, the guy's still off the front by himself. Um, I'm not sure if John bridged over to him yet, but uh, yeah, everyone's single file line right here. Um, you know, I kept I kept taking my my own lines up through this through these corners over here. Like the left side was really I felt like it was the fast faster side. Like I didn't everyone's taking inside right here. I was going wide so I can come out of this turn. Uh, with with full speed and I, I rarely uh, hit brakes on this turn uh, only because I went really wide um, 
And this guy right here on the right, uh, the, from uh, SC Velo, is the one that bridges over to John. Um, and you'll see uh, as, as uh, the race progresses, like this is where I move up uh, majority of the time, like I'm doing right now. Um, because, like I said, this was like the hardest part of the course because of, of uh, slight uphill. So people would slow down. So I just carry my momentum back up to the front. Um, I wouldn't use too much uh, energy to get up here. And uh, and that's something you, you should do um, if you're new to riding or, you know, if you don't know this. But, like, whenever you can, carry your momentum to the front, man. Uh, don't just settle in behind someone. It's not always the best thing. Um, especially if you're trying to be competitive and you're actually out coming out here to race your bike, you know, like you see the field slowing down. That's a great, great time to, uh, to move up in the field without having to, you know, uh, spend any of your energy. And I, I'm pretty sure I say this all the time, but you know, you just got to look for those moments in the races when, uh, it's a good time to move up. And, uh, so here I'm, yeah, I, I do remember this actually. I'll take a little bit. I'm gonna, let me see if anyone comes out with me. Cause I, the guy is staying out. So I think I did take a little chance right here, put a little bit of a dig, so I'm going like 33 miles an hour right here, and a little bit of power down right here, and uh, but the field's like right on me, so I, as soon as I come out of this corner, I look back and I'm like, nah, they're, they're like right on me, I'm not going to bridge over to this guy. Um, so I didn't really fully commit, I just kind of took that those two those couple turns that are really fast uh, with some speed, but uh, the field is right on me, so I let up right away, I, don't want, I didn't want to spend my energy just yet if I wasn't 100% sure on uh, what I was doing. So, uh, yeah, I kind of let up right here. I think the field's right there. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to catch that guy. That guy's right there. Um, but it kind of motivated the field to c chase a little bit because I felt like they were, they were kind of settling in. <laughs> so I was like, hey, guys, come on. So, I mean, if the field uh, just came around me or sat on my wheel, I, I probably would have attacked again. Um, just because uh, I didn't want this guy getting away for no reason, um, you know, just because we were being lazy, you know. So, because I've learned that from past races, you know, you know, field gets lazy and then you know the brake gets away, and all they did was like 24 miles an hour, which we average a lot faster than that sometimes. So it's it's ridiculous to let someone get away, you know, when they're going that slow. So, like I said, this guy's in front of me is pretty strong. He took uh, a couple pulls in the front and. They weren't like easy pulls. He was taking hard pulls, man. Um, and I feel like this is me sometimes in the races. Like I'm just taking pulls in the front hard, uh, but only because I have teammates in the back or there's like a breakaway. Um, so I'm chasing things back. Uh, but today I wasn't doing any of that. I was letting people, I was being the lazy writer. <laughs> I was being the lazy writer. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just sitting up right here. Uh, I think, uh, the guy in the blue guy yeah, that goes, oh, there goes Dean. Takes off, okay, another rider goes. I think this is when John bridges. So, I'm not responding right away. I'm letting these guys respond. And, uh, yeah, so from that, uh, I think John bridges over to the, the breakaway uh, rider. But we stay right here. But we, we make up a little bit of time on the breakaway rider. And it's still pretty early in the race. We're barely like a couple minutes in. Um, so there's no rush. Uh, he's not out of sight, you know. Um, and that's what we don't want him to be out of sight. Um, I think Dane, Dane was looking for Jack right here. Uh, <laughs> I think I heard him say, where's Jack? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I'm not looking back that far. If he's not right here, I'm not looking back, man. But I think he was trying to get uh, Jack up there. Uh, but I don't think Jack was on his wheel, so... So yeah, this uh, see the rider in front is John, and I think he's bridging over to the the breakaway rider right now. And I'm looking around to see if anyone can come around me, uh, see if anyone wants to bridge me over to this to John. <laughs> but I'm like, we're right here. I don't want to make that. Uh, I don't want to bridge over like that. I don't want to spend the energy, even though it's, he's right there. You know, like I could easily you know go over to him. I don't want to do it. Uh, I'm just trying to be as patient as possible. Um, so riders start coming up on my left. Uh, this guy on my left has a teammate up there, so I don't expect him to do much. Uh, so I'm not really trying to get behind him, but 
I start seeing other riders, then a couple of riders come around me. I'm looking, I'm being patient, I'm like, okay, this guy gets away, I'm gonna start, you know, giving it some gas. <laughs> but, uh, the guy in the green starts picking it up a little bit, and I guess I'm looking around, like, anyone, anyone, anyone? <laughs> but someone comes around me, so I'm like, alright, perfect. Uh, guy in the green is coming back up to this rider. Um, so we're moving, we're moving, and, uh, and the two riders are about to make uh, contact with each other, so I'm like, we're still not, you know, they're still not getting away. So, just being patient right here. Trying to be a good judge of uh, of what's gonna go on. Sorry about my dog. She's going crazy over here. Yeah, she's hearing some people outside hitting hammers, but. Yeah, man, I'm uh, gonna be patient here. But I think, mm, I want to say the next lap, uh, a couple guys put in some pretty good digs and they get us up there. I think this guy's tired. He's kind of you know, nudging through. I don't expect much from, uh, from 415. Uh, it's his teammate, but I mean, I mean he's pulling. <laughs> this is kind of where we've been going, uh, the speed we've been going at uh, through this side, so. I was surprised he was kind of pulling. Um, so, yeah, 22 miles an hour sounds about right. I mean, sometimes we go by faster. Um, I kind of started looking. I was like, make sure no one's diving. And inside right here, like I said, this turn wasn't that bad. I thought it was a lot harder to take when I started seeing it uh, with the Masters uh, race. But, uh, so here, look, I'm going to like, you know, 23. I'm not taking. A hard pull I'm taking a little bit of a pull but I'm not really pushing it too much uh, like I said I'm trying to save my legs for a breakaway so I kind of go I think I go wide a little bit I leave the no, maybe not this one I think I go wide on this next turn not this one but the next one I go wide to let people dive dive inside so they can get in the front I don't want to be in the front um, yeah I think I go really wide over here like just like over exaggerated here. <laughs> I'm like, anybody? Anybody? Again, look at this guy in the front again. These two. See, I'm telling you, like, I called it from the beginning. I kind of like when I did a little bit of a surge at the beginning, these these three riders kind of came up to the front right away, kind of letting me know that these guys wanted to, they came out to race, they wanted to, they wanted to break away or they, you know. Here's my teammate that was in the race, uh, Isaiah. Uh, unfortunately, he went down as well, uh, so hopefully he heals up pretty good. Doesn't get scared from racing. I think this is his first crash. I'm not too sure, but you know, uh, unfortunately, I, I think my crash took two other guys out, uh, and then they, I think there was another crash later on. But I mean, I wasn't in the race anymore. But um, yeah, so you see these guys are pushing the pace a little bit, which I like. I'm like perfect. Bring this back, guys. Come on. Uh, so right here. Uh, so you see, I think this is the only time I took the these turns with the, with the kind of the peloton, um, which wasn't too bad actually. So I, I don't. I think this race was actually pretty smooth, other than you know me going down and stuff. I think this this race was pretty smooth. Uh, a lot of people rode uh, pretty safe. Um, pretty predictable I mean I was able to I didn't have any trouble back here you know like some some other races you know being the Peloton was just it's horrible but uh yeah they, they weren't it wasn't too bad at back here um but like I said I always moved up around here I think uh, I'm pretty sure I move up right here Let's see everyone slows down I mean they don't bunch up like crazy but they definitely slow down I'm like, all right, it's time to go. These guys are trying to go. I see a little bit of a gap. I'm like, oh, what's going on here? I think this guy is dying off. I'm like, hey, yeah. He's like, come on. Oh, I was like, nope, he's, he's bringing me back. Come on, buddy. I'm like, all right, never mind. <laughs> and then this guy comes around. I was like, all right, cool, perfect. Uh, I never do this. I feel like I never do this, but, you know, just surfing wheels, which is really nice. Um, so here I am. The, the field's starting to chase. I think they're getting kind of antsy. Uh, there's two riders up there. Uh, they've been away for a while now, so I think they're starting to chase now, and uh, and I'm happy. 
I'm happy because uh, they're doing the work for me. <laughs> uh, so, uh, this guy almost uh, overlaps a wheel. Too short. Yeah, I think it goes up right there. It's cool. But, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I'll move up again over here. It's just my favorite side to move up, even though it's hard to pedal on this side. Uh, it's my favorite side to move up on. You know, easy easy placement right there. I don't want to go to the front, but, uh, but yeah, this is where the stage two guy uh, took a bit of a pull. The other guy falls, I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe this is it. Maybe we could bridge over to this guy. So I was like, all right, let me put in a good dig. Uh, so if, if you recall, you know, the la a couple laps before we were going like 23, 22 miles an hour through here. Now we're going 29, you know, uh, well, 30 miles an hour. And then we cut this turn. I'm like, okay, look, let's see if we keep up the gas. I'm like, all right, cool. They're still on it a little bit. So these guys are rotating. Uh, I'm playing the tired card. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm letting these guys pull. I was like, okay, maybe they'll pull me back to the, the break and maybe we'll get away. Um, but unfortunately, the field's like right on us. <laughs> I'm like, dang it. I was like, oh well. But, you know, I didn't do any of this work, so I'm okay with this. Like, it's fine that they're there. If I was the one pulling the brake back right now, I'd be a little frustrated just because I'm like, now I just, you know, tired myself out and I didn't get away from the field anyway. So, but these guys are doing it for me. Um, so, thank you. If you guys watch my video, thank you guys. <laughs> um, sorry to be the lazy writer uh, on this day, but I, I was. I was being the lazy writer. Uh, I was trying to see uh, if I could get a podium finally in my career is, as a cyclist, which I haven't got, so, you know. But, uh, yeah, so you can see the brake is coming back. Uh, stage 2 rider uh, did the majority of the pulling, um, to be fair. Uh, but he brings his brake back uh, that was out there for a couple laps, and I think right out of this turn we're back together, and yeah man and then we're all racing for first second and third again but these guys were out there man these guys were out there for a while this guy's kid's pretty cool by the way uh i'm not sure what kind of team it is or what kind of kid it is but it's pretty cool to the start and so to this other rider again he's the same same writers man like i said <laughs> beginning the same writers that are attacking uh they're doing a lot of the you know pulls and stuff so, uh, so this guy's trying to get away i think uh doesn't look like he's going all out but he's, he's giving a good uh little dig going 33 miles an hour through this i mean it's downhill but I mean, you still got to be pedaling to get to that speed so here uh i think i take it pretty wide um, and i like doing this just because I, I i like for my bike to be as straight as possible coming out of a turn so i can pedal through it so as you can see, I didn't really lose this guy's wheel. I stayed on his wheel coming into the turn, even though I took a little bit wider, wider turn. Um, wheel, these guys are slowing down. This guy's slowing. I, I think he noticed he couldn't get away, so he kind of slowed up a little bit. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to come around, but I don't want to pull. So I'm moving to the left because I want to just look on one side. Uh, but I start seeing a rider. I start hearing a, a rider come on my left side. So I'm like, all right. Uh, and then Jack hits the front. I think Jack stayed in the front for like two laps, and then I crashed. So, but uh, <laughs> yeah, Jack hits the front, which I didn't see him since, until yeah, I didn't see him for a while. So I was wondering if he was just sitting in, but he's back up here, um, and then I think he's uh, putting in a good dig right now. The speed picked up a little bit, and uh, yeah, I think we're getting close to where I went down. I went down on this corner right here. Uh, yeah, it was a it was a pretty gnarly uh, uh, hit. I went down, my head went smacked right into the cement. Just totally saw stars. I was dazed for a little bit. Uh, fortunately, I was okay. I didn't get any brain damage or anything like that. And, you know, come out paralyzed or anything. I mean, I broke my collarbone, which sucks. But uh, you know came away with some bruises uh, but I was able to get up and walk away so I'm happy about that um, yeah look at that. 
and Jack jumps back in the front after this. And uh, so we're going 22, a couple laps ago we we're going 28, 29 through there. Um, so, I mean, I, I look down at my speed just to see if we're going slower or faster. I don't really like to look at my speed too much when I'm racing just because I'm racing, you know, like I'm not worried about how fast I'm going. I just want to know if I'm getting away, if I'm not getting away or what's going on in the race. So, but I, I did, I did take a, a note that, you know, how, how the speeds we're going at certain points, just because I'm going to have some kind of reference as to, you know, if we're going faster, if we're going slower, or if the fields, you know, if there's a break, if we're not chasing or if we're chasing, you know, but sometimes you can't tell if the breakaway is just staying the same. So you can't tell if you're gaining ground or not, other than by checking your speed. Um, so yeah, like I said, Jack takes a, a, he takes this lap and he takes the next lap, which I think this next lap is a $50 premium. So I was actually, I heard it coming around right now. You're going to hear the announcer uh, say it. But uh, yeah, I was like, man, I'm sitting pretty for this freaking premium. Like, like I knew other people behind me were probably going to go try to go for it because they were thinking the same thing. And maybe even these two guys in front of me, Jack and uh, this other gentleman, were probably thinking like, oh, I got this. But uh, I was totally going to go for it. Like, I was going to, right out of the, that, you know, those two fast turns over there, I was just going to just go all out and go for that $50. $50. I don't know if you could hear it, but I think they announced $50. And uh, uh, so I'm, I'm sitting pretty pretty right here. Uh, I was like, oh, heck yeah. And I feel, I'm, I'm feeling great at this point. At this point, I'm just like, you know what? Things are not looking too bad right now. I was like, I feel great. Uh, it's probably the best I've ever felt like this far all, along in a race uh, at this point. Um, so I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I could just get up off my seat and take this whole lap, but I'm, I'm trying to be as patient as possible because I still want to try to win the race. Um, so unfortunately, yeah, here's, the, here's the cam from Jack's view. It's the gentleman in the front pulling right now. That's his. That's his camera, um, and this is where I go down. Oof. Oof. Sad day, man. Sad day. Uh, there was a pedestrian that crossed. Uh, I don't. I mean, kind of threw threw us off a little bit, but it wasn't his fault. I don't know. I think it looks like I slipped out uh, from the paint, or I hit my pedal. Um, so I don't really blame the pedestrian too much. I mean, I did lose a little bit of focus, you know, yelling at him to get out of the way. But, uh, you know, stuff happens. It's bike racing. And uh, that was my race. Uh, that was my first Redlands Classic, unfortunately. That's how it ended. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you guys like what you guys see, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow it a little bit. And uh, here's the footage in slow-mo for you guys. So you guys can see it. Um, here I am, and, whoa, and then bam, hit my head really hard. Yeah, man, that was a pretty gnarly uh, crash uh, for me. So, um, yeah, man, uh, let me know what you guys think, your opinion on uh, why you think I fell. Um, let me know what I, you guys think I should do to <laughs> not fall like that again. Um, I mean, obviously I look at the footage myself and try to, uh, improve so I don't go down cause it's not only dangerous for me, it's dangerous for riders around me. So, uh, thanks guys. Have a good day. Peace.